China's SpaceX Starlink clone has caused a massive debris field in low Earth orbit. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Misty Morning and Focus combination. Love it, love it. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology, a satellite day, a SpaceX Starlink day to be specific. Well, I guess a SpaceX Starlink clone day. China has created a clone of SpaceX Starlink that they're looking at launching about 13 to 14,000 satellites with one system and another 14, 15,000 satellites with the other. I think they're going to be right around 27 plus thousand satellites is what they're working on. Well, they launched their first 18 satellites just the other day and the rocket blew up. So I want to talk to you guys about it a little bit and let you know what the ramifications of this is as of right now and possibly will be in the future because it's not really good. It is not really good. I was reading an article on PC Magazine. I was reading an article on Space all over the place. And I want to read some of one of these articles to you and then give you my commentary. And then, of course, as always, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this? Do you think that Elon Musk and SpaceX Starlink has anything to worry about with this new Chinese version or clone of SpaceX Starlink? I don't know. Some of you guys, and before we get into this article, I just want to say that if you enjoy the content, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you very much. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live, when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Don't forget my books, my eBooks, they are free. Just for you being here, go to jcristina.com forward slash books. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down here. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink content, there's about 315, 320 videos I've produced in the last 40 months of using SpaceX Starlink. Check that out. I'll leave a link here. Don't click on it yet. I'll leave a link here to the Starlink playlist. So let's jump right into this article now that the housekeeping is done. It starts out by saying, a rocket carrying satellites from China's version of Starlink accidentally broke apart in space, creating a debris field in Earth's orbit. The rocket Long March 6A took off on Tuesday carrying its first 18 satellites for China's Thousand Sails satellite constellation, which was previously known as G60. Well, Thousand Sails is what they call this lookalike. They used to call it the G60. Well, it wasn't just G60. It was called the G60 Starlink. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up, honestly. You can't make that kind of shit up. It was called the G60 Starlink. Although the satellites were successfully deployed, the rocket's upper stage appears to have split into numerous fragments. No, it didn't. It blew up. It didn't split. If it split, there would be a couple of fragments. It's not a couple. This is according to a satellite tracking firm. On Thursday, U.S. Space Command confirmed the breakup of the rocket. Not just the fairing, not the top, a rocket saying that the incident resulted in 300 pieces of trackable debris in low Earth orbit. Not a couple. It didn't just split in half. 300. It was an explosion. Wait, it gets worse. Others, such as a satellite monitoring company, Leo Labs, estimate that the mishap created at least 700 fragments and potentially more than 900. The danger is that the debris is orbiting Earth at around 800 kilometers. It could eventually descend to where both SpaceX Starlink satellites and the International Space Station reside at 550 kilometers and 400 kilometers, respectively. That's a problem, a big problem. The debris field might also endanger China's thousand-sailed satellites. Well, who really cares? They put all the debris up there blowing up that rocket. Anyways, 
Slingshot Aerospace, which tracks space debris, adds that it is tracking 50 pieces of space debris from the rocket, which pose a significant hazard to low Earth orbit, or LEO, constellations below the 800 kilometer threshold. For now, Space Command and SpaceX says the debris field doesn't pose an immediate threat. That said, SpaceX estimates that the fragments could remain in Earth's orbit for decades and become a persistent orbital hazard. To ward off such dangers, the company designs its Starlink satellites with thrusters capable of maneuvering away from space junk. The satellites have done so before to avoid colliding with debris from 2021 Russian anti-satellite missile test. You remember I did a video about that where Russia tested shooting a satellite out of LEO and they did it, but they caused a massive debris field in so doing. It was a dead satellite. It was their satellite, but still these people, they just have no sense, do they? No sense. Anyways, I looked up how many times does Starlink have to avoid debris, and the numbers are absolutely shocking. I found that it says that Starlink had made 25,000 collision avoidance maneuvers between December and May of 2022 and 2023. That's five months. 25,000 collision avoidance maneuvers. That comes to just under 140 collision avoidance maneuvers per day. That is crazy. Can you imagine that? That just shows on how much debris is floating around in LEO, in low Earth orbit. Now bear in mind, the Chinese version of SpaceX Starlink is gonna sit at about 800 kilometers. And as we all know, shit rolls downhill, right? So when you're up here at 800 kilometers, anything that blows up there will slowly get lower and lower and lower until finally it's down to 550 is where SpaceX Starlink satellites are. And then finally right around 400 kilometers where the International Space Station is. That is a major problem to have to constantly avoid debris. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that by the end of this video. Let's just finish this and I'll get into it. The Chinese launch provider, China Great Wall Industry Corporation, so far hasn't commented on the debris field or what might have caused the Long March 6A rocket from breaking apart. In the meantime, the incident is creating worries that China's quest to build a Starlink competitor could result in more accidents and debris fields. In response to the accident, SpaceX is also calling for all satellite and launch providers to implement best practices to prevent future flights from creating space debris. SpaceX posted on X, quote, Space safety and sustainability are technical challenges, but they can be managed with transparent, transparent communication on asset location, current and planned. Proactive mitigations like deorbiting upper stages after payload dispense and passive safety measures such as inserting at lower altitudes and then raising the altitude to an operational orbit. Remember, when SpaceX launches Starlink satellites into orbit, they come in right around 300 kilometers. And then using their propulsion system, they are pushed up into their operational orbit. That's kind of what they're stating here. And their operational orbit is anywhere between 520 and 550 kilometers. But coming in so low or so shallow, if something goes wrong, they're not going to affect the ISS. They're not going to affect other satellites that are up there, right? It makes sense. What the Chinese are doing is they're launching their rocket up to 800 kilometers and then releasing their payload. But once again, if there's a problem with that rocket and it explodes up at 800, that debris is going to slowly get lower and lower and lower over time through number one, gravitational pull, and then of course, atmospheric drag. That's just simply how it works. So everything at 800, that's just simply debris, it's gonna slowly get closer and closer to Earth, and then once again, pose a danger to all other satellites that are in LEO, and then eventually the ISS, which is manned. We have people up there. It's a problem, it's a big problem. So what else is a problem? Like I said, I was gonna get into it a little bit with you. The other problem here is the Kessler syndrome or a Kessler effect. 
as they call it. The Kessler syndrome states this. It says the Kessler effect suggests that when the amount of space debris in low Earth orbit or LEO reaches a certain level, it will trigger a cascading effect in which this debris will be constantly colliding and breaking up to multiply the amounts of debris, creating a permanent danger for satellites and other spacecraft in orbit. What this means is when one piece of debris collides into another, you end up going from two pieces of debris to four, and then from four to eight to 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, you get it, right? It just gets crazy, right? It's just more and more and more. So what the Kessler effect is stating here is once you have too much debris, it's just going to be inevitable. They're going to start colliding into each other. What this would cause is an unpassable area of debris, a debris field as such where we couldn't leave the planet's atmosphere anymore. We couldn't get to Mars. We can't get to the moon. We can't get out into outer space because there's this debris field. Once again, due to that Kessler effect, debris is colliding into each other, causing more and more and more debris. So when we see the Chinese creating this lookalike SpaceX Starlink in the very first time they launch their 18 satellites, the thing blows up and now there are seven to 900 pieces of debris floating around 800 kilometers that's going to slowly come down and possibly impact other satellites that are in LEO, not just SpaceX, Starlink, and then eventually possibly the manned ISS. It's a major problem. So I would like to see the Chinese actually put in some safety measures. Because we know, and I've reported on this, they launch rockets like crazy and they blow up literally in a field somewhere and they don't even care. Like if there's a guy picking something, it just, what? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, well, it's not like over here where you have like the FAA and all the rest of these regulatory bodies, these three letter regulatory bodies. You also have like even fish and wildlife that gets involved and in when SpaceX can actually launch something to make sure that there's not a fern hurt over there in China, like, just launch them. They're blowing up all over the place, ah, whatever. Absolutely crazy, but that's the difference. So I hope that they end up changing their ways because if they're gonna continue down this path, once again, the Kessler effect is right around the corner and there will be a time when we can no longer leave this planet because there's such a massive dangerous or hazardous debris field that is revolving around the planet, causing this blanket of debris that cannot be passed. So what do you think about all of this? What do you think about this Chinese lookalike of the SpaceX Starlink? Do you think that it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think that it's going to happen? Do you think it's not going to happen? What do you think about this debris and this possible Kessler effect where you end up having a debris field that you can't pass any longer. What do you think about all this? I want to hear from you down in the comment area. If you don't want to leave a comment, that is fine. If you just watch this video, put like an emoji down there, put a poop emoji, put a little rocket ship, put anything. Just that I know that you're here and you actually listened and I'm not just talking to myself. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did throw it a thumbs up, that's very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not far. Thank you. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years and my merch and my tees and my shirts and my books and all the rest of the stuff, right? Check them all out. Pick something up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Peace.